Hey guys, so I've been doing a couple tutorials on ADB Fire uh, and how to install Kodi, um, how to back up, how to restore and whatnot. Uh, in the past, one of those tutorials involved installing uh, on how to install a shortcut on your Fire TV home screen to access Kodi. Uh, that was through the use of an app called Icono TV and you used a, a, an option in ADB Fire called Llama Options. As you see, uh, if you've got the newer version, uh, it no longer kind of exists in here, unless uh, I, I may be missing it, but I, I certainly don't see it. Uh, regardless, so uh, the reason for that is the Llama options and the Icono TV method of adding a shortcut no longer work on the new Fire TVs, from my understanding. I don't have one, but that's what I've read. So there's now another option, and it's probably a more efficient option for, for people, is this program called Firestarter. And Firestarter basically is just its own kind of um, launcher, I guess you could say. So with this, you'll be able to not only have Kodi, but if you have a bunch of other side-loaded apps, uh, if you play ROMs on there, um, you can put this all in this launcher and you have access to it with a single click, just like you would Kodi. I'm going to show you how to install it really quickly. Uh, it's very simple. Uh, and then I'll show you how to use it or wh how, what it does, I guess, more or less. The first thing you got to do if you followed the instructions here previously to this is you need to set up your Fire TV in ADB Fire if you haven't done that already. It's very simple, so if you done, haven't done it, or if you have done it, you obviously know what you're doing, but I'm going to set mine up really quickly because I just downloaded this version. So I'll just hit New. Uh, description I usually use as the location, So and then my IP address is 192.168.1.75. Hit Save. And then all I'm going to do is just connect. Uh, as you'll see here, it's connected. And from here, all you got to do is, if you have Kodi installed, I mean, it doesn't matter in this case because Firestarter has nothing to do with Kodi, but you just hit Firestarter. Uh, you'll get this message saying it's an alternative launcher for the Fire OS. Just hit Install. And as always, I will say, if you want to donate to both this program and the Firestarter, just do it. Five bucks. 10 bucks, they're happy with whatever they got, I think, most of the time, but it is a great a great program for free. Uh, as you'll see here, so now it's installed, and now I'm just going to show you quickly from the Fire TV what it does. All right, guys, so now that we've got Firestarter installed, we need to uh, set it up. Uh, when I installed it the first time on a different box, it automatically was working, but uh, I just tested it, and it's not working right now for me. Um, but to get it open, all we gotta do is just go down to settings, and then we go over to applications. And from here we go to manage installed applications. Down here you should see something called Firestarter. So we just open that, we launch the application, and here's what you'll be using. Uh, this is kind of what it'll look like, and you can customize a lot of this. Actually, it's really neat. Um, but essentially, as you see, you can have all your apps right here uh, from from a single click. Uh, there's Kodi, there's, I've got a couple emulators that I don't use at all. And uh, and then anyways, so um, there's a couple updates. Um, if you want to do that, as I say, you can check for updates and update to the latest version. I'm just going to go through the settings really quickly. Language is obviously, if you want, is self-explanatory. App icon size, if you want to change the size of the icons in the, in the app drawer there, um, you can add a custom background. You know, some of these are pretty self-explanatory. Um, I just want to go down to, you know, I'm not going to go through it all, but uh, show system apps. That would be some of the stuff that is with, uh, that come on the Fire TV. Um, I'm going to go down to this startup application. So um, I like, I, I'm, I don't know, I like to, when mine restarts, I like to just simply go back to the Fire TV home screen. Uh, I don't know why everyone's going to be different. Um, same thing with the home single click button. Uh, right now it's set up so when you home click uh, on your remote, it will take you to the Fire uh, Firestarter app. So I'm going to change all this back to kind of the defaults. Uh, the home button, double click. So this is where I'm going to change this to Firestarter. And that's it. That's really all you have to do to get this working. So now I'll just go back. I'm going to show you really quickly. So here's home. That will take you to the home screen of the of the Fire TV. So if you double click it, there's your Fire, there's your apps for uh, 
that you've side loaded more or less. Uh, and then from here, you can just hit Cody. And I've been showing some tutorials, so it's got to run through that. And there you go. And now you're back to your Cody setup. And again, like you double click that, it takes you back to the app drawer. And you can hit Cody, go back into it. It's just a, a little bit of a better solution than having to go through all the hassle of a uh, Icono TV app. And like I say, it doesn't work on the new TV. So this should be a better solution for those looking for one.